Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to uh, my backyard, my log pile, and welcome back to our production of the second batch of workbench kits. This is part two. Last time we uh, got a couple of logs cut up, and today we're going to keep going, making some bench tops. We have this log here to deal with this time. This is probably all we're going to get through in this video because it is uh, very goofy. It is uh, a much larger log that had split in half, and we're going to try and get our workbench tops out of this thing in a radial fashion, radial fashion, which we'll take a look at once we get it back onto the saw. Now, I, of course, uh, buried this thing back here because the front of the log pile used to be right here. So we're going to go fishing first and get this thing out of here and over to the saw. So I'm going to go do that now. I need a chain. So this has to be up there on the list of most goofiest things I've ever had on this saw. And this should be kind of an interesting uh, song challenge with this. I mean, that's probably about a third of the log is, is missing. So we're going to do a little more manipulating here to get this thing lined up. But uh, as a quick refresher, what we're doing, this is the end of the block we're trying to get to. So I'm trying to saw these out of here somewhat radially. So there'll probably be one here, here you know, like around there, all the way around as they kind of lay out. So our first cut's probably gonna be straight through here to kind of line these up. And then we'll have one here and one here, and then we'll be able to cut one out of here, and then hopefully one here and one here. And this is probably all gonna be waste. So hopefully we get five uh, bench tops out of this, which <laughs> we'll see. Down here is one thing, but if you come down to the other side, we have a bunch of crotches and things going on too. So we'll, we'll see where that ends up going. This log is a little bit long right now too. So I don't think these crotches are gonna be too much of a big deal for the workbenches because our eight foot length is kind of right here. So this is all this bonus material. So I have a little bit of adjusting here to go. I need to kind of roll this side down a little bit, but as far as leveling the log, I'm guessing this is gonna be pretty darn close the way it sits right now. It looks like this end here is high, but since this is all waste, it uh, doesn't really make a difference. So I don't, I don't think I'll end up raising this side at all, but uh, this side here at all, but we'll see. I'm gonna push it over a little bit, get it angled correctly, and then we'll see if it needs to go up and down, but probably, uh, won't need to and then we'll just uh, start sawing and that first cut is going to be to remove 
all that waste that's sticking up into the air. All right, that's how it's gonna lay. So uh, let's start whittling this thing down a little bit. Okay, as I start to whittle this thing down, I think uh, what I'm gonna do is get uh, a non on workbench top out of here somewhere, possibly two, and let's see, I need to come down to somewhere around here, around 20 inches down from where I am right now to make my full flat cut, maybe, maybe 18 or so. We'll see as we get closer, but uh, I think I'm gonna grab a piece of 12 quarter and then a bench top, and then maybe another bench top. What is that going to be? 12 would be 15, so that'll put me here, which should be pretty close to where I need to be anyway. And then we'll we'll continue to uh, to reevaluate as we get down. But that first piece, the piece is 12 quarter, that'll be a good piece for uh, uh, vice jaws and uh, uh, vice chops. And I'm also going to just clean up the end cut on here and get rid of that extra material since it's sticking out past where I can saw anyway. Okay, so with that uh, first slab off of there and a quick look up here and a reevaluation, we have a little bit of rot in here, which isn't a big deal, but we get a little narrow through here. So this isn't gonna make a wide enough piece for a bench top. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take another piece of 12 quarter off, which will take it down to here. And then I'll have two bench tops in here. And our pith is right there. So this one here will be quarter sawn and because the diameter on this log is so big the one up here will probably also be quarter sawn so I might be able to get two quarter sawn bench tops out of here but uh keep cutting I guess one more piece of 12 quarter and then <laughs> take a look again I guess
Okay, so now things are getting a little bit more on the interesting side. So this last one I cut and pulled off, this has my perfectly quarter sawn slab in it because my pith is smack dab in the middle. So this is what I was going for. This is some negative space now, so that's not going to become anything. So that's going to make uh, the next series of cuts particularly interesting. So my perfect quarter sawn ones would have been here, as our pith used to be here. So here and here would have been your perfect ones. So now I have all of this and these get arranged radially. So if I come down to cut here, this one's not going to be perfectly quarter sawn. This cut needs to be kind of biased like that to stay quarter sawn. Uh, so normally what I would do, or I'll probably keep doing, is I'd come in here and get this guy out of here. So stand this thing up on edge and make these cuts. But uh, that might also be kind of hard too because these quarters are deeper than I can actually make a cut on. So I'm still kind of thinking what I'm going to do next here. Because to make this cut, I need to roll this log a little bit, make this cut, and then come down and make the six inch thick piece out of it. So yeah, I don't know, maybe that's what I'll do. This, that might be easier, but yeah, I don't know. This is gonna get a little tight. I think, I can, obviously I can get this one. I can get one out of here real easily, but I'm trying to see if I can sneak two of them out of here. Or I guess it'd be five arranged radially in this thing. And I have, I got no idea <laughs> at this point. Maybe some, meh. Yeah, I don't know. Let me think about it. But as I'm thinking about that, here's a look at the, uh, the slab here. We got a really nice crotch slab on here. So it's always kind of <laughs> saddens me a little bit to cut the stuff up into workbenches, but you know, it's, it's all wood. It's pretty, pretty nice looking stuff. This is gonna be a beautiful workbench for somebody. Okay, so I think in the interest of procrastinating on what I'm gonna do with uh, this, I'm going to go through and just finish processing these two bench tops. So, uh, chainsaw and uh, edging time.
All right, let's see how these first ones look. Oh, those are nice. <laughs> that's, that's a nice bench. Check out the nice grain on these things. That is pretty wicked awesome. So this one here is the first one we a log. This one has more of a rift sawn orientation. So that's gonna be a non quarter sawn bench top. And it has this kind of bark inclusion thing here. So this would be a B grade non quarter sawn. This guy here is your premium quarter sawn uh, bench top. It's an XL as well. Currently it is uh, 18 inches wide. Should finish out around 16. So that would be an XL bench top. It's an A grade. You can also see that uh, these are like closer to 10 feet long and these are gonna be eight foot bench kits. So I'll end up trimming these down here so that it all fits nicely when it goes into the kiln. But we have some really nice straight grain stuff for a absolutely gorgeous workbench here. That one's nice. <laughs> that's, that's a really nice one. This one's pretty good too, but Nice big old wide bench. Two of these. Ugh. So good. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I've given this uh, a lot of thought and I think it's pretty obvious what, uh, what we're going to do here. So I'm going to try and do my best to uh, cut this thing to preserve as much of this as possible. So actually now the uh, the layout lines on the end of my log here are a little more clear. So you can see my three bench tops I've laid in here. So I'm going to try and come in here and get the saw to go right through here without kind of messing up the other ones. This is uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit risky kind of because I could either get five bench tops out of here or I could screw something up and only get two. So I'm going going for broke, I guess. <laughs> the other thing I'm gonna do while I'm out here is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, straight line both sides. That way I have a nice straight edge for reference when I go to stand these things up on the saw. Uh, trying to do that with this would, have, would cause me to have to level these things every time on the saw bed. So I'll have a nice straight line to work with as they get these uh, chunks over onto the saw. So I'm gonna do a little bit of layout and then uh, we'll, we'll say a prayer and start the saw. I think I might hit a rock as I was breaking through here uh, at the bottom. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab some wedges and split this thing the rest of the way. It should be pretty darn close to cut fully through so it should split pretty easily. And that's probably gonna be a little bit uh, less, <laughs> a little less dramatic than uh, sawing and this thing releasing into two pieces. sharp my chain. Ha! Huh. All right, well, <laughs> I guess there's still a lot there. All right, it's been a couple of days, so you know what that means. The weather's changed. <laughs> Let's uh, finish cutting this thing apart.
Okay, so in case you're wondering why I'm using uh, this thing and I'm not using uh, that guy up there, uh, the Talahan decided today would be a good uh, first time to call in sick. <laughs> it's throwing some error code that I don't really know what uh, what it means, and looking it up doesn't really tell me anything. So we're gonna keep moving right ahead. And in my uh, <laughs> kind of frustration this morning so far, I just realized that I have the setup wrong. I can't actually take my slab out of the bottom here, which is what I'm trying to go for, because I have the same problem as I did before. I can't cut that far down. So this is actually upside down. I got to roll it over and put this side here down to the bed. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I guess I'll get back to setting this thing up and then we'll kind of go from there, I guess. Okay, a quick progress update. This guy here is going to be slab number five out of here. Might be uh, maybe a little bit narrow, but probably not much. I should probably just be a normal size uh, bench top by the time it's kind of edged and done. So it's five. The first bigger one we cut today is number three. This guy is ready to be edged. And then the first chunk we cut off, this is number four. That's ready to get cut to thickness as well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna edge this one and then I'll quarter that chunk and get my two more bench tops out of it. That way I can cut uh, all of the thickness cuts in kind of one swoop. So all those uh, six inch thick cuts, I can do it once. And uh, yeah, good progress so far.
So that is pretty good. We got uh, seven bench tops out of that big log and that worked out. That's actually quite a lot more than I was expecting to get out of that thing. So it actually worked out really nicely and really perfectly. Some really nice big wide ones too in this, in this batch. Crazy. So that's going to do it for this one. Tomorrow we'll pick up with part three. We're going to be hauling these things to the kiln and get them dried. So we'll go through uh, that process. And uh, yeah, it gets dark really early here. <laughs> Welcome to winter in Minnesota. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the workbench kits, anything out here on the sawmill land, anything in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time. <laughs> Happy working.